Changing over there. There's a storm coming, Harry. Just like last night. The Ministry of Magic wishes to be an announcement. The Lorry's Umbridge, as high in visitors, will address the falling standards at Hogwarts School. Things of Hogwarts? Are far worse than I feared. Ah! Get up! You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large once again. This is a lie. It's not a lie. I saw it. Minister, the Dark Lord's return is incontrovertible. He's not back. Dolores Umbridge has replaced Albus Dumbledore as head of Hogwarts. Phoenix. There's a storm coming, Harry. Just like last time. This film is about Harry Grier using the knowledge that he has gained over the last five years to try and fight Lad in the world. Prepare yourself. You need a teacher. It's about friendship and loyalty and everyone coming together and it's really, really cool. Every great wizard started out as we are now. If they can do it, why not us? They actually can learn sort of how to defend themselves. Stupid! The characters who outwardly are very charming, <laughs> with a lot of other stuff going underneath. <laughs> We've all got a bit of the light and the dark inside us. Just what we do with it. What's going on? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. In this film, particularly Harry, he sort of instantly starts off in trouble. Suddenly these Dementors swoop in and attack Harry and Dudley. Expecto Patronum! Then he has to go on trial for using underage magic. Charges against the accused are as follows. That he did knowingly and in full awareness of the illegality of his actions produce a Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. I was only doing it because of the Dementors. I don't think anyone would believe that the Dementors were there by coincidence, Minister. There is someone who might be behind the attack. In Ministry's opinion, he is in there to be found guilty and nothing else. Evidence that the Dark Lord has returned is incontrovertible. We think Voldemort wants to build out his army again. He's been recruiting heavily and we've been attempting to do the same. The Order of the Phoenix is an organisation dedicated to fighting Voldemort and fighting the Death Eaters and um, Dumbledore founded it. Part of the Order was Harry's parents, Sirius Black obviously, Lupin, um, Mad-Eye Moody and a few others sort of crew. <laughs> a really sort of secret underground sort of operation and everyone's there together as a team. We believe 
Voldemort may be after something. There is something he didn't have last time. Voldemort is getting stronger and stronger and threatens everything that we hold dear. And we are rallying forces. It's your turn now. Hogwarts is not somewhere that's safe. The Ministry has decided that they're going to take over part of Hogwarts, they're going to interfere, they're going to put up new rules. We also wish to welcome our new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> she actually turns out to be a bit of a nasty piece of work. Who would you imagine wants to attack children like yourself? Oh, I don't know, maybe Lord Voldemort. Detention, Mr. Potter! Professor Umbridge works for the Ministry and basically she wants to gain power and control. I will have order! I don't know if <laughs> teaching's her first love, um, but this is part of her job. And also, she's training these young minds to be against Dumbledore. She doesn't want them to be doing any spells that she thinks are dangerous. There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. Using spells? <laughs> I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. Hermione, that just makes her blood boil. Voldemort is said to have returned and they're sitting in the classroom writing lines when they want to be learning how to defend themselves. That's one of the reasons why, for the first time in her life, she really feels like she needs to rebel. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are you and what have you done with Hermione Granger? With Voldemort on the loose, they have to protect themselves and so they form this secret society, effectively becomes known as Dumbledore's army. It's kind of like a group where everyone learns from Harry, learns magic. You all know why we're here? We need a teacher. Proper teacher. At first, you know, he's a really reluctant teacher. He gets talked into it by Hermione. But as usual, um, Hermione is irritating and is right. We're going to have any chance of beating Voldemort. We need your help. I think Hermione and Ron's job, particularly in this one, is to bring him out of that stage where he feels so alone. And this is a way that he will feel that he is accepted, that people look up to him. It's all part of the plan. She's a genius. Yeah, it's a really fantastic part of the film as we see Harry become a teacher. And Believing in yourself. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist me. Working hard is important, but there's something that matters even more. Believing in yourself. It's a really fantastic part of the film as we see Harry become a teacher and we see these kids use magic in a way that we've never seen them use it before. He actually turns out to be a very, very good teacher. Neville is one of the characters that changes so much. I'm hopeless. No, you're not. You're just flourishing your wand too much. Then you see towards the end of the lessons he starts to really come through and he can really shine. Expelliarmus! Fantastic, Neville. Well done. Make it a powerful memory. The happiest you can remember. Allow it to fill you up. Keep trying, James. George, it's your turn now. Spectre Patronus! A full-bodied Patronus is the most difficult to produce, but shield forms can also be equally useful against a variety of opponents. Fantastic, Ginny! Just remember, your Patronus can only protect you for as long as you stay focused. So focus, Luna! Think of the happiest thing you can. Expect to patrol. I'm trying. I know. Patrol. It's good. This is really advanced stuff, guys. You're doing so well. Interesting aspect is the relationship between Harry and Cho. There's this sort of magnetism between them, and whenever they see each other, they're kind of just drawing closer to each other. It's so tall. Harry's big kiss, his first kiss. A lucky Harry, too, with a girl as lovely as Cho. I knew Katie was so nervous, I was quite nervous as well. There was lots of courtesy chewing gum going in my mouth that day. Do you believe the rubbish is coming out with about you and all who? 
Has anyone else got a problem with Harry? Initially, Harry is um, very much ostracized when he arrives at school because a lot of people do not believe his story of the return of Voldemort. Harry, you're the stranger. Voldemort is getting inside Harry's head. He's corrupting his soul. Who are I said I'm fine, Ron. Harry suddenly feels a bit of an outsider, and he has to make a choice whether to embrace that wonderful relationship he's got with Ron H and Hermione, or he can just go it alone. I just feel so angry all the time. The, the world isn't split into good people and death eaters. We've all got both light and dark inside us. There are some interesting moments in our film when you can see he could go either way. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Harry trains with Snape to try and block out any chance Voldemort has of getting inside his head. Control your emotions. There's a real sense of a growing danger that you can't quite define. Get behind me! But we don't know when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. Prepare yourself. I think the audience is invested in this world and these characters and these actors. We've kept the same cast throughout and each film brings a new uh, cast member or a few new people as the world expands. Things at Hogwarts are far worse than I feared. And Melda Staunton, she's very talented. More than that, she keeps everyone laughing in between takes. She's a very, very funny woman. Really? Just one question, dear. You've been in this post how long, exactly? <laughs> you applied first for the Defense Against the Dark Arts post, is that correct? Yes. But you were unsuccessful? Obviously. It is not an understatement to say your fifth year examinations will, in many respects, determine your futures. Study hard and you will be rewarded. Fail to do so and the consequences may be severe. This is a lie. It's not a lie. I saw it. I saw it. Detention, Mr. Potter. It's a great role and I don't think for a moment she thinks she's doing anything wrong. Not for a moment. I predict Umbridge is going to stay in people's memories quite a bit because she's quite scurry and interesting and funny all at the same time. And I think there are going to be a lot of kids out there who are going to probably have a few nightmares about Dolores Umbridge. I certainly do and I've been working with her. <laughs> I'm the follower of Voldemort. I'm basically the one and only female Death Eater. was exciting for me coming to Hogwarts at this stage was the fact that Rupert and Emma and Dan and the rest of the cast were actually getting a little bit older, a little bit more complicated. This is the Black Family Tree. My deranged cousin. I hated the lot of them. Bellatrix, my cousin has gone wobbly. <laughs> The follow of Voldemort. I'm basically the one and only female Death Eater. Harry Potter. Oh my gosh, she's really cool. It looks quite, quite scary. <laughs> She's a real psycho. <laughs> I think she's got obviously a personality disorder. <laughs> you do anything to us, I'll break it. <laughs> Who knows how to play? Itchy, pretty, baby. What? Oh, a trick strange. That's a long bottom, is it? How's mum and dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. <laughs> This is Lena Lovegood. Lena Lovegood. Lena Lovegood is a bizarre character, but who Harry really feels a closeness to, because he feels that they're, they're very similar people. 
They're both outsiders, and so they kind of bond over that. And she helps, and she's wise, so she teaches them stuff. You're not going mad. You're just as sane as I am. I always wanted to be Luna. She's been a fan for ages, so I always wanted to be in the films. It's her first acting part there, and she's just fantastic. She is Luna Lovegood. And uh, action! Working with David Yates, he's just a great director. He sort of never settles for less, and he'll always push for more and greater detail, which is brilliant. What's going to be the Death Eater dummy? The Death Eater dummy is about seven feet tall. What was exciting for me coming to Hogwarts at this stage was the fact that Rupert and Emma and Dan and the rest of the cast were actually getting a little bit older. A little bit more complicated. So if it will do one more one like that, this is it. We've got it, guys. That was great. This story offers an opportunity for all of the cast to really push themselves as actors. That was lovely, Rupert. That was lovely. He likes the really special relationship that Dan, Rupert, and I have as a friendship, which can be brought into Harry, Roy, and Hermione's, and he really likes to use that to the best he can. They're called Pestrels. We have some new creatures in this. We've got the Festerals, who only certain people have the ability to be able to see. They are like the horses of death. They look so impressive and haunting. Then there are the Centaurs. I've never seen a Centaur so royal. No danger to the best of times. They're not exactly new characters, because we did see a centaur in uh, the first film. But it's a different technology, actually, allows us to present the centaurs in a very different way. Throughout all the books, they've always been my favourite creatures, but I think also that the whole final sequence of the film should be very good. We have the biggest battle in history at the end of this movie. A wizarding battle has never really been committed to film on the scale that we'll be doing it. It's going to be a pretty spectacular scene. You won't last two seconds if he invades your mind. I'm not weak! I'm COVID! What really drives us forward is the sense of mounting tension between Harry and Voldemort. Look at me! Fifth time round, they're back, and it feels very new and just great fun. Ah! I'm okay. All of them have been through so much over the years, and they're looking out for each other. We're in this together. Harry, Ron and Hermione are really a unit, and when you watch a film, you feel that Harry's strong as long as he's got them either side of him. Changing out there. It's a storm coming, Harry. Just like last night. Harry. The Ministry of Magic wishes to be announced. The Lorry's Umbridge has high invisibility. We'll address the falling standards at Hogwarts School. Things of Hogwarts? You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large once again. This is a lie. It's not a lie, I saw it. Minister, the Dark Lord's return is incontrovertible. He's not back. Dolores Umbridge has replaced Albus Dumbledore as head of Hogwarts. Riley. The Dark Lord approaches. He wants to build up his army again. If I'm not building up an army that I want to fight. It's your turn now. This year, I form some sort of wizard army. If they can do it, why not us? Tyranny will rise. I will! And the rebellion, the minister's gonna have a full uprising on our hands. We'll begin. It's a bit exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are you and what have you done with the Lion Grange? 
the Warner Brothers Pictures. Stop Sergeant Harry. You can't win. You will lose everything, Chicken. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix.